Welcome to your Pregactive Pregnancy Strength Workout. This workout's 20 minutes long and you don't need any equipment. Maybe a yoga mat if you've got one, but that's it. It includes your warm up and your cool down. And I'm Karen, the founder of Pregactive. If you like this workout, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I would love to know how you go with the workout. Drop me a comment below. Let's get started with our feet hip distance apart and just move into those nice hip circles, warming through the hips. And then circle back the other way. All right, from here it's side to side. So we literally just move one way and then the other. Let your hands just go wherever they float. Maybe let your hands come higher, up above the shoulders. And then come back into center. From here, it's just a step, cross, and then lower, and then other side. So this is gonna be one of our moves today. So it's just a nice little warm up into that. A little curtsy squat. If you feel like that's too much for your hips, feel free just to stay with a normal squat instead of the curtsy. The further you have your feet away from each other, the harder it will be. The closer you have your feet together, the easier it's going to be for you. So start closer. All right, we're going to start in three, two, and one. Curtsy squat down, step other side. Hands can go wherever you want them. So we've got a total 40 seconds here. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Over halfway now. Good, so just step and cross. Great to activate through those glutes. All right, wood shopper is next in three, two, and one. So that's where we just move, like down, and then across. So squat, hands go push back, and the other side, push. That's it. So a little bit of like you're throwing something back behind you. 15 seconds to go. After this, we're heading into sumo squats. Five, four, three, two, and one. Feet go wide. Hands down by your sides, we drop down and then we're reaching for the outside of your knee or the outside of your shin. Now, if this feels too much at any point, come up, drop back and then keep going. So you don't have to stay low the whole time. Good. If it doesn't feel good for you to go side to side, just down and up is okay as well. All right, we've got just 10 seconds to go. This is the last exercise of these three. We'll have a break and then we'll do them again. And done. Toe heel that back in and just some nice hip circles. This is a good time to have a drink of water. Just take a breather. We've got 15 seconds and we're going to start it all again, starting with our curtsy squats. All right, we're back there in five, four, three, two, and step, curtsy, other side. There we go. Second set always seems a little bit easier in a way because you've got it. You understand the move, your muscles understand the move can become a little bit more familiar. All right, that's halfway. After this one, we're heading into that wood chopper. 
this pace is too fast, slow it down. Just step and go as you need. Good. If your hips are feeling good, you can always go a little bit deeper and release, shake it out. Wood chopper, down and back. Alternating sides. Good, get that reach up. Reach down. See if you can go a little bit lower in between in that squat. Down, good. Halfway. Keep going. 10 seconds left. After this, it's sumo squats. Four, three, two, and one. Release it, toes out, down we go. And tap, tap. Oh, so you might feel like there's a lot of build up in your legs right now. And if staying low is just too much in between, come up. <laughs> Take those breaks. Good, if you want more, stay low, we're halfway. Less than 20 seconds to go now. Breathing. All right, we're here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Release, shake those legs out, shake those arms out. We are heading down to all fours. Grab a drink of water on your way. I'm just gonna drop down and crawl out. You can meet me there. All right, from here, it's just tuck those toes, lift the knee out to the side, and then down, and then back to three. So we go down, out to the side, down, back, two, three. Good, and that's it, out. And then one, two, three. Breathe in, out. One, two, three. So don't overcomplicate the breathing, but I do want you to keep your core engaged whenever that leg is lifted off the ground. Two, three, three seconds left. Open and finish it off. Down, rock the hips. We go to the other side. Open the knee. Down, one, two, three. Try to relax your shoulders. Open, down, one, two, three. Down, open, one, two, three. So if you're having pelvic girdle pain, if this just doesn't feel any good, just being in all fours and doing some glute activation or some glute dances is a good option. Two, three, down. Five seconds to go. And then release. Tuck those toes, breath in and exhale. Engage core, lift the knees just off the ground, then press your hips high to ceiling, heels back and down. Breathe in lower, control this. And then exhale, engage. Lift, hips high, heels down. Breathe in, lift the heels, lower control. And then exhale. So with any bare holds or lifts like this, we want to notice if there's any coning or doming happening through your belly. That's what we don't want. So connect through that core, lift last time, hips back, lower down, and release. From here, we can just lower those elbows and rock from side to side. We've got a mini break, so if you want a drink of water, go for it. We have one more set exactly the same. Okay, we're starting in 10 seconds. So slowly move your way there when you're ready. All right, let's go out to the side, knee out, down, and then back, two, three, down, open, down, 
back two three breathe back two three good keep going here just notice you want to have as much length through your spine as you can keep nice and relaxed through your shoulders 10 seconds left two three breathe and open back two three and release rock those hips other side let's go open down back two three down open down back two three good even some pelvic tilts is a good alternative for this as well back two three relax those shoulders Think about hugging baby gently back towards you. Less than 10 seconds now. We're heading to that down dog. In three, two, and one. Tuck those toes. Let's go. Lift, heels back, hips high. Breathe in. Four. Exhale. Enjoy that stretch. Breathe and lower. Exhale. So it's not about as many as you can fit into this 40 seconds. It's all about quality here. Really engage, use your body. We've got one more. This is it. Final one. Breathe. And lower. Nice work. Let's just rock those hips a little from side to side. Maybe a little side cat if that feels good. One more each side. All right, we are heading to side plank. So feel free, have a sip of water if you want one. We're gonna start in five seconds. So elbow is down, shoulder. Relax, let's go. We lift the hips and lift the knee down. Now, you can just do this without lifting the hips. So it's a clam is the focus here. The hip side plank is just an extra. Press, bottom elbow down, relax, bottom hand. Good, that's it. 10 seconds left. A little bit of a press of your hips as you lift and get that final little squeeze into the glutes. Last one, release, come through to sit. However you are comfortable and then we reach up and then up. So you're reaching, I like to call this picking apples. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Good, that's it. So it's a big stretch and then pull down. Over halfway now. This lateral movement, this side stretching movement is so good in pregnancy. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're heading over to the other side. Side plank. Elbow down, let's go. That's it. Feels familiar because you've done it on the other side, but your body's still like, what's going on? <laughs> so we haven't done this side yet. So let's squeeze into those glutes. Let's really wake them up. A little press of the hips forward if you can, if you're lifting the hips, that is. All right. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep going. You're doing so well. We've got a mini break after this. And that's done. Come up through to a seat. Just circle those hips. Breathe again. Grab a drink of water. And then back the other way. We're going for our side plank. 
starting the first side. So let's make our way there. So the elbow comes down, set your knees up, heels together, let's go. Lift and lower. Remember, hips down is a great option. Number one rule in pregnancy, you listen to you. Listen to your body, don't push through it. As your body grows, things need to change. Just shift it up. Over halfway now, keep going. Really get that squeeze into that top glute as well. All right, 10 seconds left. Never hold your breath. Keep breathing, five, four, three, two, and one. Lace, sit, reach. That's it. I know it seems basic. It seems like, what is this move even doing? <laughs> it's doing so much that you don't even know. So tomorrow when you have that little bit more energy than you would have if you didn't do this workout, could be this exercise. This stretching and reaching up is so good for your tummy area. Keep going. All right, we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Last time, elbow down. Let's go. Open. That's it. You got it now. Really get that squeeze. Lift. After this, it is a cool down. So we have just 10 seconds left, like make the most of it. Five, four, three, two, and one, done. Nice work, let's come back to a seated position, feet flat, knees bent, hands back behind you, and just rock. From side to side. Come back into stillness, come through to a seat, lift tall, hands go out, up, lift the chest, exhale and round. Breathe open, exhale. One more big breath. All right, the next exercise is a glute stretch. Two options here, you either send one leg out, have the other tucked in, and we're just stretching here. So you're getting a nice opening through those hips. If you want to get deep into that glute, you do either this move or a similar one sitting up on a couch, on the bed, or on a chair. So wherever you are right now, I want you to breathe. And as your body allows you, go a little bit deeper. Millimeter by millimeter, just the tiniest little bit deeper as you breathe. If you've got more space and you're here, you can always begin to slide your hips towards your ankle. Breathe here, one more big breath in. And out. All right, we're gonna swap sides. So if you're like this, you simply just swap over. And if you're here, you're just simply swapping and just the tiniest movement forward. If you've got a chair by you, couch, whatever, then that's a really nice option to be too. Breathe here. Let your body soften into this. <sighs> Two. 
two more deep breaths, breathe it in. And out. Last one. Release. Come through to a seat. Stretch one hand up and over. And the other side. Come back up. Big breath. Roll the shoulders up. Back and down. One more. Let it go. And well done. That is your workout complete for today. If you like that, then give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And hit subscribe to the Proactive YouTube channel. For more videos just like this, visit Proactive.com.